I asked God to forgive me because I had to, because uh, I retaliated because I don't want to say he the nerve, but I had to let him know. And I don't know, maybe I was wrong for letting him know. I said, don't feel like and don't think because I'm walking with Christ that you can handle me in the kind of way. But I was thinking about the prayer that we did this morning, and I caught myself. I said, God, forgive me. But by me walking with Christ, it's, I'm, I'm getting, what the word I want to use, I'm getting, it's, it's coming from me all kind of ways. My family, people on the outside, you know. Right. So I'm just looking right. for some guidance because I know within myself and my heart, I know where I stand at with Christ. I know what I do and what I don't do, what I used to do and what I don't, you know. I know where I am with Christ. Amen. Anybody anybody got any words for uh, Sister Rob? Amen. Well, you know, I say this, um, just as just the same way we prayed on this morning and, and how quick that thing got away of coming back around. Uh, that's why there's a need to be mindful uh of the words that we that that we that we hear and to be cognizant that you know, um, I would say this. I guess the best way I can say it is, um, that's kind of what happens. You know, not necessarily you, but that's kind of what happens when, when when we go to when we go to what we call the church. You know, we hear a word when we go to our our uh, Bible studies or Sunday schools. We hear a word, um, but. Sometimes and oftentimes, more more times than not, we don't take that word to heart. We don't take that word and chew on it and and marinate on it. And we'll, because the truth is, when, when that word comes, normally right around the corner, we're going to meet that word. And if we haven't digested the word, if we really, you know, even though it was good, we may have clapped our hands. We may say, "Ooh, that was good," but then once we leave, we forget about it. <laughs> so here comes that word again. Um, so that's why there's a need for us to again always be mindful of the of of, of those words that, that that we receive because it this lets us know that God is preparing us for what's to come. He knows what what tomorrow's going to bring. So often we get a word that's that's for our uh, for the bridge that we're getting ready to cross. So that's why there's a need to to really you know when we go to study even on the line when we get this manner to chew on that word because. You know, not many more days hence. You're gonna you're gonna see that word come right back around, and then you know either we can, we'll, we'll have a tool to use to apply to that you know to apply the word to, you know we'll have a defense mechanism or we'll be able to recognize. Oh, I know what that is. You know, um, amen. Hey, amen. So it's, and so it's, so it's just a trial, a trying, a testing of that word. You say you received it, you got it. Okay, now let's test and see if you got it. <laughs> Okay. It's just like school. Right. You get educated, and then you take a test on it, you know. Right, right. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and, and it, it'll tell if, you know, if you study for the test. If, or in other words, if you really got it. Right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, amen. So, you know, and, 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 and that's the thing that, you know, um, we can't get caught up, you know, and I say us, we. The people of God, um, we can't be like the world. The, 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 the world says, um, if you say this, I'm going to say that. And we've already premeditated that, you know, if you come at me this way, I'm going to come at you that way. Um, mm-hmm. But for us as believers, we, you know, we're, 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 we're slow to anger. You know, we're, we're, we're not quick to respond. We're, we're slow to speak, you know, and cause, because when, you, when you're slow to speak, it gives you time to think about, uh, what I'm getting ready to say, or if I need to say, uh, mm-hmm. so don't feel the need to to to, to retaliate, you know, or or, or to, to let people know you don't know who you're talking to. Oh, you got me twisted, <laughs> you know, uh, you know. As we say, you you got me bent, um, you know. And and again, does that thing rise up in you sometimes? Yeah, but again, we we can't we don't respond the way we used to respond. Uh, that that that's when people know, man, they don't change. Cause you know, uh, when people know they can play you like a puppet, I know if I do this, they gonna do this. I know if I say that, they gonna they gonna come this kind of way. If I do this, they gonna and all they do is play you just like a puppet. 
Because they already know what you're going to do. But when you mm-hmm. change it up, you be, they be like, hmm, I guess I can't get them that way no more. And you be like, yeah, I see it. I saw you anyway. I saw you. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Okay. okay. Well, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, anybody else got anything they want to add to that or any, any comments, anything you want to share? Yeah, some, sometimes uh, um, it's, it's not something that's going against you. Uh, when um, when people come at you, or there's certain things that that God allows, because if we didn't have if we didn't have that testing, we would think we've conquered and we have you know arrived in certain areas. So it comes to let us know, oh, you didn't conquer that yet, because how you know you didn't conquer is how you respond. To, to the negativity. So if if I don't respond in a positive way, in a godly manner, in a way that I can please God, then I know that I have not conquered that area and i got to work on it some more. But if they didn't come, we would um, we would think we were ready, you know. So God is just gracious to us that way. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Yep. Anybody else? Amen. Well, if nobody else has anything, so I, I just say, hey, be, be be encouraged, you know, in your walk, and uh, you know, don't even beat yourself up too much, you know, about that. You know, just do better. You know, right. as you said, repent. You know, God, I'm sorry. I, I um, you know, got I, got out of character. Um, get yourself together. And do better, you know. Uh, so now you know, and just hey, you won't get me like that again. I I, I know you now. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Um, well, uh, I wanted to continue to look at, uh, if you will, um, Romans eleven, um, Romans eleven, and we started at verse one on Tuesday. Um, but I just I, I want to pick up I want to pick up right here at verse six. I'm just going to start reading at verse six, and we'll go from there. Uh, Romans 11, beginning at verse six, it says, "And if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. But if it is of works, it is no longer grace. Otherwise, work is no longer work. What then? Israel has not obtained what it seeks." But the elect have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Just as it is written, God has given them a spirit of stupor, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear to this very day. And David said, let their table become a snare and a trap, a stumbling block and a recompense to them. Let their eyes be darkened so that they do not see and bow down their, uh, bow down their back always. Amen. Uh, and we may continue reading, but I, I wanted to launch from right there. And uh, I started calling this uh, on Tuesday, uh, reserved for myself, reserved for myself. And we know that, that that myself was capitalized because this is God saying that he had some people reserved for himself. But uh, I, I think I want to shift today uh, and just say that, uh, 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 and just say a remnant, a remnant. Because when you read verse 5, uh, Paul is coming back. He talked about again what God said to uh, to Elijah, and he said, "And if by grace, uh, I mean, even so, then at this present time, uh, there is a remnant, Amen, according to the election of grace." So I, I'm, we're going to change it today and just say a remnant, a remnant, a remnant, Amen. Uh, so there, there there is a remnant of God, Amen, of of, of God's people uh, that have not bowed down to 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 to, to Baal. Uh, and, again, I'm telling us that even in this present time, in this uh, 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 28th day of, of July, that there is, that there is a remnant uh, of people that have not sold out. There's a remnant that have chose to follow God. There's a remnant that although we, we, we got many books 
Amen. We understand Ecclesiastes that, that, that you know, be, be careful of making many books for, because, you know, study is a weariness to the flesh. So we know that there are many people that God has gifted to write, to share some things with us, to share some light, to give some, uh, I guess, you know, the word we use so much, revelation of the word and so forth and so on. But when it's all said and done, amen, there's a need for us to stand on the word of God. So there's a remnant, amen, that are standing on the word of God. There's a remnant that refuse to be moved um, by what everybody else is doing. So um, when you really study, again, study out this, 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 this Roman text, Amen. We know that the Apostle Paul was, was, was of Jewish descent, and even he said that I am the tri- I'm, I'm of the tribe of Benjamin. Um, but we know that he was sent to the Gentiles. So, uh, 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 and we know that there was a big disparity uh, in, in, in relationships or even communication between the, 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 the Jews and the Gentiles. So here you find a man... Uh, uh, of Jewish descent that is now preaching the gospel, amen. So you know, uh, even for the Jews, that's a scary thing. And for the Gentiles to know about his, his, his past, we know that, that that's also a scary thing. But here he is talking to him, and, he, and he's saying, listen, uh, uh, there's a remnant, <laughs> uh, man, that there's a remnant of people, amen, uh, according to the election of grace. And then he goes on to say, verse 6, and if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Uh, Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. But if it is of works, it is no longer grace. Otherwise, work is no longer work. But what he's telling us, again, because it's one thing to to try to uh, work out your soul's salvation, amen, through through, through fear and trembling, than to work it out by saying, I'm going to work at the food kitchen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh, uh, it's, it's one thing to say, God, I give you my life, and I'm not going to uh, uh, conduct myself in, in any kind of way that, that, that discredits who, who Christ is, amen, than to say, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give my tithes and offering, and I'm going to go uh, work at the, uh, the shelter. Um, I'm going to march around the corner and hold up signs that say abortion is, uh, is wrong. So, these works, amen, because there's a tendency to think that works is, is, is what gets us there. But he's letting us know that it's by grace, amen, not, not by works, it's by grace. And there's a remnant of people that are standing on the grace of God. And even, in, in, even while they're standing on the grace of God, they're putting in work, <laughs> amen. But they know that it's not their work that gets them there, amen. There is a remnant. There's a remnant. There's a remnant. Now, I need us to, for those that, that, that didn't know how all this came, came to be, um, we were talking about, and I'm not going to go back and, and, and elaborate on everything, but we were, you know, this, all this came about because of, of a conversation that I had with someone um, concerning what a real man is. And this real man just happens to be a man of God, uh, as, as, as we commonly say, one that's, that, that's over ministry, one that's influential in, in the community, uh, and even amongst us, uh, other uh, uh, godly people, uh, very inf- influential. But this person um, also uh, said this person is, is, is a real man because uh, they'll go off on you, because they, 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 they quit to say that you, 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 you niggas are getting on my nerve or, or whatever the case may be, and uh, that, they, that you might even get cussed out if you get their timing wrong. So my thing was that that's not godly character. Amen. That's not godly character. And who are, and, 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 and for someone to say that this is a real man, uh, what kind of godly uh, 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 or what kind of measuring tool or tool are we using to say what's a real man? And if that's the tool that we're using, then, then we have come, uh, we have really fallen short. Amen. We, we have really fallen a long way from godly uh, 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 character. Now, with that in mind, listen, listen, listen to what the scripture is saying. Amen. It picks up right here in verse 7. It says, what then? Israel has not obtained what it seeks, but the elect have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Amen. So what he's saying is, uh, so through, even though uh, Israel may have been doing some good works, amen, even though, uh, just, and, and I relate it back to this particular conversation, even though you might have some churches, even though you might be influential, even though you might be preaching and teaching, you, but you still uh, have not obtained what you seek. <laughs> amen. And that is the approval of God. That, that, that is to say that, that, that God is, is, is pleased 
uh, with your character or with your countenance. So we can be doing some good works and still not be pleasing God. Amen. So just Israel was doing some stuff, amen, but still uh, uh, did not obtain what it was seeking. But the elect obtained it because, again, because they, they committed themselves to God. Amen. Any questions or comments? Anybody uh, uh, got anything they want to add to this? Questions? Anybody? Amen. Is this making sense to anybody that there's a remnant, amen, uh, that obtained it, that there's an elect that, uh, that obtained it, there's an elect, amen, uh, or a, a remnant uh, that, that has decided to follow Jesus? Amen. That have decided to follow the Lord. Uh, once again, questions, comments. Praise God. Amen. There is a remnant. Amen. But again, but the elect have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Just as it is written, God has given them a spirit of stupor, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. To this very day. So what that's telling us is that do we think, uh, and this is the question to us, so I'm, I'm expecting somebody to respond, amen, or, 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 but when, when, when you hear such a thing, amen, once again, we, we're, we're looking at this verse 7. It says, uh, what then? Israel has not obtained it, what it seeks, has not obtained what it seeks, but the elect have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So do you, do, do, do you think, amen, that uh, God intentionally blinded them, that God in, intentionally put them in a spirit of stupor, that he had caused their ears not to hear, amen, that he just did that out of the blue? Or do you think it, it, it came later, amen, in the fact that they refused to serve him? What are your thoughts? It came later. Yeah, it came I mean, after it came after they refused. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. And see, that's that, that's important for us to know. Amen. Because once again, there's a, because we know that 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 Jacob, Israel, Jerusalem, that these are God's chosen people. Amen. So why would he why would he have a chosen people and make them blind? That don't even make sense. Why would he have a chosen people and cause their, and, and their spirit to be of stupor and their ears not to hear? So we know that this has to come afterwards, amen, that, that, that it's because they refuse to do. And that's why he says, I have a remnant, amen. So, and, and so let's, let's bring it back to, as Paul say, to this present time, amen, at, the pre, at this present time. So when we look at the, the, at, at the, at, at, uh, uh, the church, as we say God's chosen people, the church right now, Amen. So I'm going to, and I'm going to say the chosen people because this is he's coming back for his church. Amen. He's coming back for the body of Christ. So if, if he's coming back for his church, now don't 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 you think that there are some that even in the church, just as it was for the for, for, for the children of Israel, that there are some, Amen, that are still doing good works and still uh, are, are, are blinded and still can't hear. <laughs> amen. What do you think? I think you're right. I think there are some that are blinded and and uh, thinking that they're doing good work, but they're but I would say like this: they're not um, doing what God has called them to do. They're doing uh, they're doing good uh, out of their own, but God has called them to do something different. Amen. 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 That's good. Anybody else? Praise God. Amen. And I use that, and I, I say that because, you know, sometimes I think, uh, again, sometimes we, we can come in, into a thing doing good and, and, and to come into ministry doing good. And as I said on Tuesday, we, we it, it is so easy for us to compromise, amen, before we know it. We don't compromise. We, 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 don't, we don't got out of place with God because either ministry has become easy Amen. Well, all of a sudden we, we adjusted our praise team and now people are flocking in to hear the word because now we don't mind uh, 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 doing the nay-nay at the church. Amen. Or we, we don't mind. We say, hey, we bringing worldly things in to, and, and so people are, are flocking in. But that's a compromise. Amen. This place is holy. Amen. The, 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 the worldly stuff, is, this is not the place for that. This is a house of prayer. Amen. This, 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 so, but what happens is we get to this place. And then God, God begins warning, amen, and warning, because warning always comes before destruction. So he begins to warn us, amen, but, but we, have, 
Yeah, but if, if, if we don't adhere to that warning, amen, we can still, God will still show up, amen, because we're two or three of God. He'll still show up. Amen, but that, the, that, the, the, those that are in leadership, amen, the one that he's called to be in charge of that thing, don't they know that all of us, that uh, the reason why it's okay now, the reason why it don't even phase you anymore is because you've been given to a spirit of stupor? Amen. Don't we realize that, 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 that uh, uh, our eyes, amen, can't even see no more? Uh, our ears can't even, hit, can't, can't even hear no more? Why? Because we, we've compromised so, amen, and, 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 and even when, when warning came, we, we didn't adhere to it. Is this making sense to anybody? Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. But there is Amen. a remnant. There is a remnant. There is a remnant that say, I refuse to be moved. There is a remnant that says, uh, not so. There's a remnant that says, hey, we're not going to do that. Amen. Yes, yes, in Christ there is some liberties. Amen. But liberty don't, 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 don't mean uh, 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 anything goes. <laughs> Amen. Liberty doesn't mean anything goes. Uh, questions, comments before we proceed. Amen. A remnant. A remnant. Amen. There is a remnant. But he goes on. He, he says, uh, picked up in verse 9. After he said that, he says, and David says, let their table become a snare and a trap, a stumbling block and a recompense to them. Let their eyes be darkened so that they do not see and bow down their back always. So, again, he's just adding, um, he's adding more fuel to the fire. He says, hey, this, this is written, what, what we just said, that God has given them a spirit of stupor. And, and, but, he, but he also goes on to say, and David said, let their table become a snare and a trap. So, but, but did you hear that? The table that they, that, 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 that us, again, present time, that the table that the church has prepared will become a snare to it, will become a trap. Can you imagine the church becoming a snare and a trap? Amen? Can you imagine the church becoming a stumbling block and a recompense? Amen? But here it is in the scripture. But those, 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 those same things, amen, that, that we're talking about is, is that it can happen. Amen. It can become a snare and a trap. Amen. Just imagine being caught in your own trap. You know, if, if, if you've been around the line at all, you know I like the animal channel. Amen. The animal planet, discovery, all that kind of stuff. But I know these guys, they go out in, in the wintertime and they, they set up all these, 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 these snares and traps to catch furs. You know, people that live especially out in, 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 in Alaska and so forth. Amen. But these big old metal chains and spikes snare these traps, amen, that they use to catch uh, 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 coyotes, amen, that they use to, to, to catch wolves and, 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 and uh, uh, wolverines and so forth. Amen. These big snares, traps. I can't imagine that a, a human getting caught up in one of them traps, take their, take their leg off or take an arm off, amen. But, but here we find that people, uh, that the church is, 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 uh, is, has become its own snare, its own trap. That's a sad thing, people of God. Amen? It's a sad thing. Questions, comments? Amen. But there is a remnant. There is a remnant that have decided to follow Jesus, amen. There's a remnant that decided that come what may, I am going to follow the Lord. Come what may, amen, uh, uh, I'm going to stick with Jesus. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with him. Uh, I'm going to trust him. Um, and, again, even though there's a whole lot of books out there of people, I'm going to stick with the word of God. I'm, 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 you know, I, I don't mind reading and getting a little knowledge or, or whatever the case may be, amen. But I'm, I, if I'm going to sleep with a book under my pillow, it's going to be the Bible, the word of God, amen. It's not going to be uh, uh, Apostle John Eckhart. It's not going to be Bishop T.D. J. am going to stand on the word of God. Amen. So he, even with this line, amen, don't go tell nobody what well, Apostle Craig said. Well, he said it's going to be like, no, you better know what the word of God say, and that's why we're reading the word. Amen. You better stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Is a remnant. Be that remnant that stands on the word, that have committed themselves to the word. Hallelujah. And once again, questions, comments before we close this thing out. Amen. A remnant. A remnant. 